How's it going? Uh, it's going good. Is Daddy a crazy driver? Mama? He films while driving and I'm the autopilot that holds the steering wheel. What? I do not do that. What? He did. No, he no, did. I just grew a third arm. Logo, tell the truth. I'm, I'm the autopilot. This is much better though than seeing like Roman ruins. I just needed a, like a break from like Thinking. doing touristy stuff. <laughs> and this is like the perfect thing that we could have done. It is. In the last episode of World Towning, we stayed aboard a sailboat and experienced the worst storm to ever hit Malta in the last 30 years. I'm not gonna say I'm not a little nervous. Like I didn't ex think, ex whoa. I didn't expect to experience this in our first five sailing days. We're now heading to Cyprus for a little rest and adventure. Good morning from Cyprus. Ow! Ow, ow, ow. God, that's hot. I burnt my mouth. Goofy cup. Today is an adventure day in Cyprus. Now, and we're late, so we gotta hurry up. You're probably asking yourselves, why are you in Cyprus? And why are you always late? <laughs> I can't answer the second one. So when you last saw us, we basically left the boat and we were saying goodbye to our skipper, Steve. And no and one knew where we were going. Today we're traveling from our boat home to our next home. We're gonna be in three different countries today. Two different airlines. We'll be back. Good morning. All right, well, it's gonna be tight. Yep. Tight? Yes. Yep, we only have an hour and a half until our flight. <laughs> and we're at Malta International Airport. The airport's pretty much as big as the island. Thank you, Thank you. Nice you. Numbers. So flight one is from Malta to Athens. It's gonna be a short trip. Athens Airport! And just like that, we're back to warm weather. Warm! <laughs> this is a lot warmer than Malta. It wasn't like this when we left. You don't think it's warm? No, it's freezing. Really? Yeah. Pick up our bag, oh, recheck in. Off to... Never Cyprus! 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 Okay, you can tell how we are now ready for takeoff. And we have arrived in Cyprus. A new country. Country Cyprus. number 34. Woo. And with that, <laughs> we've actually got our first trip on Aegean Airlines. And it's so nice to be. Oh, sure. No problem. Okay. No problem. Aegean Airlines is really nice. It's so much better than Ryanair. They gave you water. How does it feel to actually have been treated like a human on an airplane? It was really nice. Instead of like a bag on Food, an airplane. Food, water, bathroom, all that kind of good stuff. I liked it. I'm it's giving amazing. a thumbs up for our Aegean Airlines. Much better. No, no, use that for. Cyprus is one of those countries that's in Europe, but it's not really in Europe. It's kind of confusing because it's really close to Turkey and pretty far. But it's part of the European Union, so it's, it's part of Europe. But we basically did not come here to be ultra touristy. We came here because we well, wanted to see Cyprus. We want to see Cyprus a little. And we needed some rest. Yeah, so we basically spent five days, not five days, three days. Three days, days, three days <laughs> working our butts off, sleeping our butts off taking hot long showers. In an Airbnb, and which barely was- barely leaving the house. <laughs> well, we almost felt like we were no longer in an RV. We felt like we were no longer on a sailboat. We felt like- Real people. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Mm. How does it feel to be in an apartment now? Or in a townhouse, wherever we're in. Where are we anyway? It's, it's called a villa, man. Called a villa? I think that's what we named it. Villa is a word that people put on anything to make it sound wonderful. Yeah. Villa. This is wonderful though. It is pretty cool. How's it yeah. feel to be Avalon in a, what appears to be like a stationary life for a couple days? I like having like a bigger place for a little while. But I think you get boring very fast. 
We're back in what seems to be like an apartment or like what looks like a stationary life. And guess what happens? We're racing all over again. <laughs> You're shoving food in because we feel like we have to get the kids out to school so we can get to our next location because we have a schedule that we can't maintain. <laughs> and we're only going out one day here. We haven't even left the house for three days. Mm -hmm. So now we're on our adventure and it is time to get adventuresome because we don't do well just sitting around doing nothing for a couple of days. Not at all. No, so... This is a bit of a different adventure than what we typically do though and there's a reason. We'll tell you later. Yep. We have a 9.30... Um... Okay. Ah, hello. So our adventure here in Paphos, Cyprus, which is where we are right now, here. Did we say good morning? Good, good morning. morning. <laughs> 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 Woo, it's been a long week. All right, so we are hopping in some, what do they call them? Dune buggies, I guess? Okay, so who's riding with who? I'm, I'm with riding Dad. with Largo and I'm the driver. I'm riding with Dad. Spot right now. No, 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 I'm riding with Dad. They're called different places around the world. They're called like four wheelers. We have a lift. They're called dune buggies. Here. It looks more like, like a monster <laughs> than a buggy. Ellen, do you driver. think you're big enough at this point to be the driver? Yeah. Should I'm big enough. In some places. I could definitely drive this thing. Don't you touch that. You'll I kill that. Definitely Don't kill that. So we're gonna break this up between Largo and I driving in vehicle number one right over there. <laughs> ah, okay. what do you think, Largo? So we have here. And then Jessica and Avalon riding in vehicle. Not not the Volkswagen. They're gonna be riding in vehicle number two over there. Everybody, can you feel the cold? Slide over. So our first stop right here is the shipwreck. What, what shipwreck is this called? I don't know. What's the name of this shipwreck? Does the shipwreck have a name? What? So we are at our first stop on the buggy you tour. See that right there? The shipwreck is called Intro Shipwreck Intro. and it was coming from, where was it coming so from? It said it was coming from South Africa. I have no idea if he actually knows all of his details, but basically he said it was coming from South Africa and then in a bad came. storm, and you know what? It, it basically I realized, drift. What? what I realized already, and this is very important because we have to keep this with us as we travel the world, I don't want to sail near here. He said the, the weather can get really bad and dangerous, so check it off the list. We, we have checked it out. No Cyprus. We're, we're already here in Cyprus. We were we're not coming back. We, we don't like to revisit places. It's no, really rare. no, it's like watching the same movie twice. Right, there's so many places to visit in the world. Okay, so it's freezing here. Oh my gosh, look at our kids. It's been here, by the way, for like 11 years, this this place. And basically, the, and the, the, the shipping line said, I'm just going to leave it there because it's too expensive to get rid of it. So now it's like a tourist attraction. And now it's a tourist attraction. <laughs> it looks like a big piece of rust. I guess you could dive there. That yeah. should be oh, really cool. Be What do you think he's doing? Is he going to the bathroom? Oh, bananas! Oh, yay! Bananas! Thank you! I'll share with her. Yum! Fresh banana right off the tree! You don't like bananas that much, right? I'm good, yeah. She just won because she doesn't like bananas. Can I take this one? This one's dead? Okay. Yum. I love getting the banana right off the tree. Oh my god. Mm. It's so good. You want to try it? I love it. Mm. Yeah. Look at this though. Oh my goodness. Wow. This is so amazing. Look at this. You could just see the island of Cyprus is essentially like a rock wall on one side of it. And in that rock wall there are sea caves riddled all over. We're t being taken to that now, and it is... Did you see what we just walked on top of when we got underneath Well, it? that's what I'm trying to talk it's about. Kind of it's, it's really, really, it's really crazy. fragile around here. The guy just said, okay, You'll let's just fine. walk away. And then we walked through it. It was actually quite nice. And it was quite scenic. we got down underneath and saw it, it was like just a sheet on overlay. It's like walking on a piece of paper. That could break at any point. Over like the Golden Gate Bridge. My heart it's, is... I'm getting heart palpitations. <laughs> This is un... I'm freezing, but I don't care. It's stunning. Look at this. It's beautiful. And there's oh so much swing right there, too. I wish it was warm out. You want to go skinny dipping? We brought our bathing suits. We, we actually brought our bathing suits, but we chose not to bring them on this tour because, well, we woke up this morning and it was 12 degrees centigrade or about like 50, I don't know, 3 degrees with a wind chill of like 45. And 
Oh, I gotta help you up. Okay. <laughs> and we thought there's no way on this planet are we gonna go ahead and get wet. Want some help? We didn't. We're not getting wet. You need some help? Uh, yeah. I need you to grab the camera. Hi, camera. Hello. Let's see. Let's watch. We'll get up. He's a professional rock climber. Can you tell? I know the the best rock climber is the one that survives the afternoon. Why you wanna let me go? Na na na. Are you saying that to change your mind? For love or pity, let me know. Na na na. Cause your love made me, made me go blind. What am I hearing? Saying you're moving back. When were you gonna tell me that? What am I hearing? It feels like a heart attack. Oh my god, Alan, the tour group is leaving. We gotta go. Alan seems to have gotten herself in a bit of a pickle right over there. She's stuck in the rocks. Oh my gosh. Where are you going? Avalon is the official model for Jessica's shots today because, of course, Largo's like off on his own, climbing every rock he can find. I would like to be off with Largo on my own, climbing every rock. But you did a great job. I probably ripped my pants. You, you probably did rip your pants, but you did a great job anyway. Did your photos turn out good at least? They're okay. Hey. Well, my skin is no longer my hand. I like love the ones that Avalon so tried to be good. Try to escape the water. That was a narrow miss, Avalon. We almost lost you there. Oh, it's all right. We can we can get another I one of you. I pants. know how we made you. Oh. I can feel my body cold against the concrete, but I can't seem to get enough. My mind is fixed on what it wants. I just let you beat me, looking me deceiving. Let well, you get the dangerous. best of me. I'm bad with my words than me. This is a no go. I just can take cold. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me home. This is a no go. I just can take cold. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me home. So You can leave it like this. I feel like I've got like buggy legs. Like I feel like I'm vibrating still. Like on the sailboat, I still felt like I was wobbling. Now I feel like I'm vibrating. I'm never going back to normal. Are we just talking about our aches and pains at this point? <laughs> it's like we're back on the Camino. We have a little quiz for you guys. And since you're an intelligent group of people, I know you're going to get this right. What's that noise coming from? A log was on the trampoline. Just ignore that. <laughs> one of us has showered and dug all the grime for the buggy ride off us, and one of us has napped and that same person that took the shower did not nap. Can you guys guess who? That buggy ride was so dirty. Fun, fun. You know, it's fun. When you get dirty, it's always, it's always something fun, don't you think? This has been our experience in Cyprus. Now, some people would say, well, did you go see like the first church that was ever did like, you go see developed in the world? All the ruins. Did you go um, see like the king's tomb? And when we started traveling full time, we used to be kind of embarrassed if we didn't see everything or see certain things and what we'd realized four plus years into this that we cannot see everything because we well, get tired. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. We've been we've been here five days, four of them we worked and caught up on sleep after the sailing trip because that was really hard and we were exhausted. And we just said, what are we gonna do on Saturday? We want something, honestly, that was kind of easy and not too much thinking. And I, you guys can probably see some vlogs where you're like, wow, they look really tired. It happens, we're like anyone else and I think I think what's important is that sometimes, I'm sure sometimes people watch us and think, well, they're a travel vlog. Why aren't they showing all this travel stuff? We actually don't really consider ourselves We're not really a travel, a travel vlog, vlog, people. We kind of consider <laughs> ourselves a travel lifestyle now, vlog. I, I don't like the, the name lifestyle. I know, I don't know. I can't come up with a better word. I think, I think of the word lifestyle and I think of like, Shopping, hair and makeup. Well, maybe. well, this is this is what we talk about hair. So, so maybe maybe they can help us find a, a word for the seat. This is our life. We're not doing it for one year sabbatical and going back to our life. This is our life. Travel, work, school, cooking. It's like we do all of this while we're traveling. So I don't it, I don't wouldn't call us a travel vlog, but what would you call us? Intervention.
mentioned by the RV li RVNN live renew news reporter. Oh, I'm sorry, RVNN wants to intervene, yes? We are not normal travelers. We should call ourselves super cool, awesome travel weirdos. We're also <laughs> world counting headquarters runners. <laughs> world, head world, world, world counting headquarters runners. That is us. That I is exactly. I it. don't know. Do you think we should? What, what would you okay. call us? What would you call us? Okay. I'm why really you, curious. Why do you watch us? First of all, are you? Do you really here? want to know that answer? I don't know. Be, okay. Be why, nice. Why do Please you, don't be mean. <laughs> why do you watch? Okay. And in the we're spirit, gonna get a bunch of comments that are gonna say because they want to see how your hair is growing. So, do you watch us because you want to see all the travel experiences? Do you watch us because you want to know the reality of? You know, people that have been traveling full time for four plus years. Like, how how does it actually work? <laughs> anyway, all right. I think I think that we rambled on too much on this topic, we guys. Have. This has been our Cro our Croatia, our Cyprus experience. We'll start and, five countries back. And I think at this point, hopefully, you gained a little more perspective onto who we are. Every video is not about sort of seeing a place. Every video is about gaining a perspective as to what it's like to be a travel family. And yeah. I think this is just one more angle in that and master. And in this one, we needed book. to not think too much. No, no. In Cyprus, we just were too tired. That being said, we're leaving. Bye, we have guys. a flight tonight, tomorrow morning, whatever. Gotta go. Yeah. Bye. Bye. In the next episode of World Towning, we enter into Turkey where we will spend just over a month exploring, yeah. Yeah. engaging with locals, and getting out of our comfort zone. You can't hear me because I'm mouthing. Oh my God, look at this. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notifications icon to ensure that you get all of our episodes the moment they are released. All right, we're done, Largo. How are you feeling? Largo? What? Largo, are you okay? I can barely hear anything. Really? That was really fun. That was a lot of fun. It was really fun. It's it's a little tight on my neck because I wasn't really ready for that. Wow, you have a lot of dirt on you. I know. We need some serious showers. I know.